doesn't this happen? Why? Why doesn't this happen in Nigeria? Ah, what's up, my people? Move closer. Did you hear what happened in Ethiopia? Their biggest bank, the Commercial Bank of Ethiopia, had a glitch in their system that allowed people to withdraw unlimited funds. Unlimited amount of money. I'm like, ah, <laughs> that is to say any amount that you press in the ATM would come out. But people were withdrawing money that they did not have in their bank account. <laughs> They started calling each other, telling everybody, there's free money. Some people were transferring money that does not even exist in their bank account. And it was going through. Students especially, on different campuses, they lined up to abuse the ATM of that particular bank. And before the bank could fix this glitch that same day, Ethiopians had withdrawn more than 40 million US dollars. How? Like seriously, how? No, but you be that? Or is that a miracle? And you know, the bank insisted that the hackers did not tamper with their system, that this just happened. <laughs> I said, why? Why is it that things like this don't just happen in Nigeria, especially during this time of economic hardship? Or even in America, where we have to pay bills every month, bills upon bills. But wait a minute, Ethiopians, <laughs> move closer. You guys had the opportunity to withdraw an unlimited amount of money for several hours. And in the entire country, you only withdrew $40 million. <laughs> You guys, ah, no, 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 you guys are slow. I'm sorry to say, but you guys are slow. Trust Nigerians, hey? <laughs> that bank will never get back on its feet. Benny, along the rise in Nigeria. I'm just saying, at least $500 million. At low as even $1 billion. Go. Now, jokes aside, it's actually a very, very sad something, you know, and our heart goes out to the bank in Ethiopia. And I'm not encouraging taking money that is not yours, so I beg. As it is, the schools are urging their students to please give back the money. If you were in their shoes, would you? Also, the bank itself is urging citizens to please, please return their money. Abisano revealed that a significant portion of the withdrawal cash was accessed by students that led to long queues at campus ATMS. Multiple universities have urged students to return any excess funds they received. The bank has made reassurances that those who return the money will not face any legal consequence. In fact, in a statement shared on X, the Commercial Bank of Ethiopia acknowledged the service disruption but dismissed claims of a cyber attack. Can you imagine being the CEO of such a bank? Hopefully some of the bank workers did not also take advantage or call their family members to take advantage of this. Hopefully. Very, very unfortunate something, you know. I can see some people already giving testimony in church. <laughs> Oh, Papa, Papa, miracle money. I had 2,000 in my account, but by faith, I typed 200,000 and guess what? It came out. Amen, somebody, amen. But really, who's at fault? Is it the people that withdrew money or the bank that made the money available? Or would you say that the people committed a crime? Would you say it was free money and answer to people's prayers? Or would you say that it's stolen money? Because technically the bank was the one that provided unlimited funds. In any case, let me be clear. All I'm trying to say is that Ethiopians should please return the money, you know, <laughs> because they will eventually trace every penny. No, so I mean, they will still trace the money to you. The bank should be able to trace the money, right? Kaido, move closer. I beg, turn off the camera. We're going to Ethiopia. What do you mean for what? They said the thing just happened. Don't you know it may just happen again? Sit down there. We are not going to steal money. We are going to cover the stealing of the money. 